All right, I'm gonna try to floor it. <laughs> We're floored. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this golf cart's been sitting in storage for years. I have no idea the last time it took a charge, but I charged it last night. So here we go. <laughs> it actually runs. In the back of the golf cart are these lead acid batteries. And look at them. They're all bulging. They're in really rough shape. I have no idea when the last time these things were used, but they are completely dry. Let me try to get a light in here. There, you can actually see the plates inside there. So they're completely dry. Every single cell is dry. So I just picked up a bunch of distilled water. Let's fill them up, put a charge on it. I don't have any hopes for these batteries, but it'd be fun just to see what it can do uh, before we go to lithium. So roughly each battery, which is supposed to be 6 volts, is roughly about 2 volts. I had 11.43 across the main two terminals. Let's look at some of the features of the golf cart. It is an old golf cart. I like that it has a big bumper here on the front. And tires seem to hold air after I put some air in them. The seats are pretty well used. The roof is this kind of just wood frame that somebody made. And then they stapled a canvas on top. I love that it has a trailer hitch so I can tow my trailer around. Inside, here are the lead acid batteries. And these are in really rough shape and it's dirty so I'm gonna rip these lead acid batteries out of here I'm gonna clean this space up and get some new lithiums in these are the lithium batteries that I'll be putting in the golf cart and I'm just really excited to see what the golf cart can do after we upgrade to the lithium now these are LG modules and I actually built a battery pack right over here ugh, with the same modules now I use these same modules to build this 48 volt battery pack in a couple of previous videos and it works great. <laughs> Let me get that off camera there. Now this is how the modules originally came. This would have been a 3P and 10S, meaning three individual cells in parallel and then 10 cells in series. So this is a 36 volt nominal pack, which is really cool. Now it would have a charging voltage of 42 volts. So when this is fully charged, its voltage is gonna be a little bit higher than the lead acid batteries in the golf cart. So we're probably gonna get some additional speed, but we're also gonna get increased runtime and probably what I'm hoping is some better uh, performance on the uphills. Those lead acid batteries, I'm guessing it's a voltage sag issue, but man, I just, can't get up some of those hills with the lead acid batteries. Pull off some of this electrical tape. So it looks like a steel stud coming up on each end. I don't know what this is yet, maybe a 10 millimeter. We'll find out. I don't know which is positive, which is negative, so we'll just check them. Right now, that's opposite, all right. So this is negative, this is positive. So I don't know if you can see the multimeter, but we've got 35.8 volts. Okay, and over here, this one they remembered to put the nuts back on. <laughs> and 35.76, but they're pretty much the same voltage, which is really great. We could actually parallel these right now and not have it be a problem. And this is from the bolt with a B. Okay, so there's no voltage on the case. So we just pulled off the cover. Look how pretty those are. They're spot welded to all the tabs. So I just pulled back those tabs a little bit and you can see how it's a 3P. 
there's one, two, three tabs. So three parallel, so three P, and then 10 in series. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in series. 3P 10S. Each cell is a 60 amp hour, so this is going to be a 180 amp hour pack. Almost six kilowatt hours for the whole thing. So here's our negative over on this side, and it's going to jump to the other side, which looks the same. 3 3.577, 3.5767, 7. 5.77. The thing about getting them brand new like this, they're all perfect. 7.6, so just a few millivolts from each other. These are 180 amp hour packs, and because these were meant for an electric car, they're capable of really high discharge current. They can do 3C. Now three times 180 is gonna give us 540 amps. Now I haven't owned a golf cart before, so I don't know all the details on them, but 540 amps should be enough for most golf carts. Now if it's not and you need more, then we can parallel the two packs together. Now if you have a 48 volt golf cart and you put these in, the voltage will of course be lower. So you might not get the performance you're looking for, but it might not be as bad as you think because there's probably gonna be less voltage sag with these compared to lead acid. Now, I don't know exactly because I'm brand new to golf carts. I don't have the golf cart experience. We are going to eventually work on pairing these and we're gonna put these two together in parallel with a BMS, with some contactors probably. Well, thank you everybody very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this introduction video to the golf cart project. In some future videos, we'll rip out those lead acid batteries and we'll put these lithiums in place. Now I have a lot of plans for that golf cart, uh, including putting some solar panels on the roof and having it solar powered. So I hope everybody sticks around through the series so that we can see the whole build process. And I've even got to come up with a cool paint job scheme for it. Thank you everybody very much for watching. If you do want to pick up some of these for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below to batteryhookup.com and you can use my discount code that's David Paz, and that gets you 10% off. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help me out with the affiliate program, uh, which helps support the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you very much.